friends, Charlie here with my ever giggly co-host because she knows what's coming up. Hello. If you've listened to the show very often, you know Skunky has a slight, slight mm, tendency, yeah, a reaction to any drink that has lime in it with a clear alcohol like vodka or gin. And what are we making today? Well, from the looks of things, we're making a Moscow Mule! Finally! Yes, friends, we finally got the copper mugs. We finally are making the Moscow Mule. And what does it have in it? It has lime juice and it has vodka. It also has some other stuff. We're going to share a little bit of science with it, too. Moscow Mule, very classic. It came about in the 30s in San Francisco, surprisingly enough. It's not from Moscow. It's not from Russia. How it came about was this bartender ended up overstocked on ginger ale. And we're not really telling you what brand of ginger ale, or not ginger ale, ginger beer. We're not telling you what brand we're using, but it's a decent brand. You should be able to find it on your supermarket shelves. Basically find your favorite. Yeah. Ginger beer is not ginger ale. You cannot substitute one for the other. Ginger beer is non-alcoholic, but it's like ginger ale on steroids would be a good way to put it. Yeah. It's a lot stronger than ginger ale. It's ginger beer. There's more snap. Much more snap. So, we're starting off, there's ice in the shaker already. Two and a half ounces of vodka. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yes, that sounds like a lot, but it's not. <clears throat> okay. One half ounce lime juice. No. Well, now you've already gone ahead and opened it. Just trying to be helpful. Well, you don't put that in a shaker. Why don't you put that in a shaker, dear? Spoosh! Yes. She's had that happen before, too, friends. Two and a half ounces of vodka. Half an ounce of lime juice. In a shaker full of ice. That's good. Mm -hmm. Copper mug. It has to be a copper mug. I'll explain why in just a moment. Or in fact, you'll see why. This has plenty of ice in it. It's nearly up to the rim in ice. Straining the vodka and lime juice mixture into it. The shaker's slow, friends. It's getting old like me. Getting? Well, it's getting old. I'm already old. Okay. Ginger beer. You just and there's no measurement on the ginger beer. Two and a half, one half, fill top up. With. <laughs> yeah, you top it with the ginger beer. More than the splash, less than the can. Yeah. I'd say... Three, four ounces? Two thirds, two thirds of a can. Okay, more five to six. Oh, it smells heavenly. Copper mug. Very important. You'll see why. Okay, Skunky, I want you to go ahead and taste this. Just okay. as is. That's two and a half vodka, half of lime juice, that's ounces, and mm. call it seven to nine ounces of ginger beer. That's really good, isn't it, dear? Mm-hmm. Now then, here's the reason for the copper mug. Keep that taste in your mind. Mm -hmm. Lime. A lime wheel. You know I never use garnishes unless it's a part of the drink itself. Um, the mint and a mint julep. The orange and cherry in an old-fashioned. And the lime in a Moscow Mule in a copper mug. Now I'm leave that right there a moment. Okay. My stirring stick. Because we're already shaking it, we don't want to shake it again, especially with the ginger beer in there. But we do want to stir it around a little bit. And make sure that your lime wheel is down in the drink on the inside. And make sure it's coming in contact with the copper on the outside. The important thing about a good copper mug, the inside is lined. You don't have a lining in there. Because you, you really don't want to drink raw copper. There we go. Now try it. Okay. Whoa. You're getting a little tingle there? Well, I'm getting a lot more lime. I mean, that wheel didn't really squeeze much in it, but there's... No, it doesn't. It's... 
but you're getting more of each flavor individually and you can feel the mixing. You're getting a little tingle on your lips, aren't you? I'm getting a whole lot of lime. I mean, you just like put that on there, but it tastes like you've added at least another two ounces of lime. I'm and serious. And that's just a little slice of lime, that's all it is. What it's doing here, friends, have you ever seen a lemon clock or a potato clock? Potato clock I have. Okay. Explain to the audience about the potato clock, dear. How does a potato clock work? It's the electrolytes or like something in the potato, the chemical reaction between the metal and the enzymes in the potato that makes the, the clock run, something mm -hmm. like that. Same with a lemon clock. Same with the Moscow Mule. It's, it's basically an electrolytic action mm -hmm. between the copper being transferred by the lime into the mug. Mm -hmm. The wheel of lime just acts like a cable, a power cable running down into the lime that's in the drink already and the copper. Before it was like, this is a nice ginger mm -hmm. and vodka drink. Well, there's a hint of flavor behind it, but when you add the wheel, it's just like, boom. It's kamikaze level of lime and you don't have that much lime in it. Yeah. Whew. And of course... <laughs> and it's hitting her already because that's why she has a lime juice and any clear alcohol. Science. It's it's something that happens with alcohol that you don't think about. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people will say, "Oh, I can't have that alcohol. Or I can't have that because it makes me, you know, crazy or something." Like, there's a little science behind that. You there know? is science behind it. Um, tequila does not make people go wild or black out just on one drink. Right. I'm talking about people who get. But you can have. Uh, it's usually caused by a mineral deficiency. That will cause a reaction like that, and like the reaction that she has. But this, without that wheel of lime bridging the copper and the drink itself, you wouldn't have the burst and the tingle that you get from it. And yeah, I mean, it, it, there's almost, there's so much more lime flavor than it was before. Mm. Oh, that is good. And you just can't get that from lime juice. Mm -mm. This is almost, it's equivalent of like when you add orange zest to something, that's the equivalent. Because mm -hmm. you get orange, orange juice and there's a, there's a subtle orange flavor, but when you orange, add the zest, it, and that's basically the equivalent of adding the lime. Exactly. Milk. It amplifies the drink and makes it so much better. That's why you need, need, mind you, the copper mug, and you need, this is one drink that needs the garnish because it's not really a garnish, it's actually a component of the drink. You need the lime wheel. Mm -hmm. Very good. And I've seen people order a Moscow Mule They'll take the wheel when it arrives, they'll squeeze it into the glass, or into the mug. You're ruining the drink that way. You're not getting a tenth of what you get when you add the wheel on the outside of the mug. Yeah, I wouldn't say ruining it, more muting it. Terribly muting it. So quiet, you can't even hear it. <laughs> Sorry. You're fine, dear, you're fine. But that's it, friends. Uh, two and a half ounces of vodka, one half ounce of lime juice, shake that, pour it into the copper mug full of ice, it has to be a copper mug, top it with ginger beer of your choice. <laughs> the ginger beer of your choice, uh, seven to nine ounces, right around in that neighborhood. Then pop that wheel on the side of the mug, stir a little bit more, and take a sip and be awakened instantly. I think I would actually serve them to, to guess that way, without the lime first, and then add the lime and perform magic. Well, that's it, friends. We finally did the Moscow Mule. Be happy. <laughs> I am. She's extremely happy. But that's it, friends. As always, I will be on every Sunday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Time on nts-show.com. Mm -hmm. We're on every Thursday night now at 9 p.m. on blab.im. And if you want to find more information about any of those, check out our Twitter, mm -hmm. Facebook, and us at the website. Yeah. But until next time. Until the next video or until one of those times, uh, always remember, friends, drink what you enjoy. Enjoy what you drink. And I'm going to enjoy this Moscow Mule with Skunky. Immensely. Bye now. Take care, friends. One more thing, friends, I forgot to mention. Expect to pay, if you don't already have a copper mug, upwards of $18 to $20 per mug. But we're filming this about three weeks before Christmas, look around in the big box stores. This mug right here 
is actually part of a four pack set that we picked up at a certain big box store that we're not going to mention the name of because exactly. they're not sponsoring us but it was twenty dollars for a set of four so shop around you can find the mugs if you try it's a great holiday gift oh they do they make a beautiful christmas gift or hanukkah gift or kwanzaa kwanzaa ramadan ramadan uh zombie jesus day whatever Yule. you want happy holidays yeah <laughs> If you'd rather hear us say Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. We don't care. We just want you to drink something you enjoy and enjoy what you drink. Are we really gone this time? We're gone this time. Take care, friends.